In this example, we'll deploy a GraphQL server to Cloudflare workers using GraphQL Yoga. Here we have a typical Wrangler project that's using TypeScript that returns a new response, hello world. Let's get started by installing GraphQL Yoga and the GraphQL package. Then instead of our Cloudflare worker, we'll import create yoga and create schema from GraphQL Yoga. Now let's define a new const yoga and invoke create yoga. We'll pass the generics to create yoga for the context to bind the environment, which can contain any namespaces for D1, KV, etc., and the optional execution context. Now for the schema, we'll use the create schema function that uses a GraphQL tools package under the hood to make a executable schema. Here we'll provide the type definitions and provide one query, hello, that returns the string type. Then instead of our resolver map, we'll resolve hello to print Cloudflare workers. Now all that's left to do is take the yoga const that we have created above and export this as the default for fetch. So here we'll call yoga.fetch and pass this to the fetch export. Now if we start the worker and we go to localhost, we'll see here that we have a default landing page and this is provided by GraphQL Yoga. We can disable this landing page and we can update the GraphQL endpoint inside of the create yoga function. Now, if we refresh, we'll see that we have graphical here where we can execute that GraphQL query, hello. Finally, let's run npm run deploy, and this uses Wrangler to push this to Cloudflare. Once built and uploaded, Wrangler will output the endpoint for our GraphQL server that is pushed to Cloudflare workers. And there we have it. We have a GraphQL server deployed to Cloudflare workers. We'll learn more in another video about using different Cloudflare features with your GraphQL server.